What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing to do is to erase both the large and small viewport. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space with two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the 2D drawing and the solid model. I created the two viewports so that you can see both and better understand the part which I'm going to draw. Also note that all dimensions will be in inches. Using the line command with ortho on, I'll pick any point on the screen, move the mouse up and type 1.75. Then move to the right, type 4.5. Move down, type 1.75. Move to the left and type close. Using the copy command, I'm going to select these three lines and move them to the right. Now using the offset command, I'm going to select this line and move it over to the right a distance of 0.125. And also trim from this line that I'm going to, tr I'm going to trim from this line, that one, and that one. Also, using the line again, I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint here over to the right. Then, using the offset command, I'm going to offset this line to the left, 1.062. Repeating the offset command, I'm going to offset that line over to the left, 2.375. And, th and then, using the circle command, I'm going to find this intersection, type D for diameter, and put make a circle of 0.937. And then copy that circle just created from that intersection to, th to that intersection. Now I shall erase all lines which are unnecessary for the creation of the solid. Actually, the plan view shown is all that is necessary for, the create, for creating a solid of this part. Using the drawing just completed, I'll create the solid model. But first, I'll create a new layer, call it solid, make it red, and make it current. Now I'm going to use a polyline to trace over the object on the perimeter. And then using the properties, I'm going to select the object, use the properties icon, and change the layer to solid. And before extruding the object, I like to go into southeast isometric view. Now I'm going to extrude both the rectangle and the holes a distance of 0.125. And in order for the circles to show up as holes, they have to be subtracted from the rectangular solid. And so I'll use AutoCAD subtract command to remove from the solid a rectangle, these two circles. Now, using AutoCAD's visual age, I can I can add some shading to it. Having finished a 2D and solid model of the object, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing. So I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type M view, enter, and select two diagonal intersections 
to create the larger and smaller viewports. Now I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to the isometric view, and then pan and zoom so as to enlarge the solid model. And then of course double click outside the uh, smaller viewport so as to get back into paper space. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one, even though individual viewports can be sent to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking properties, and then setting a scale. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous, and you can set any scale you want one-to-one, one, or whatever. Also, once the scale is set, you double-click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. Sometimes it's necessary to move the solid. And again, we have to double-click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, it should be noted that if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer called viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want more videos like this, you can search YouTube under MD Guide. Also, Please comment on the video as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.